Wednesday, so that means it's time for another What's Up Wednesday. Lindsay here, and today I want you guys to be my Chromies. And so in order to do that, I'm going to share a couple of Chrome tips and tricks that are my favorites. So we're going to talk about how to set your startup pages. We're going to talk about pinning tabs, and we're going to talk about copying links to highlights. First thing we're going to talk about is the setting your startup pages, because for me, this was a huge time saver. So when you come in in the mornings and you log into your computer and you open up Chrome, you can have those pages that you use every day set to start up and open automatically. So I'm thinking like your student information system or wherever you do attendance, your drive, whatever learning management system that you do, your um, mail, Google Calendar, whatever it is you're using. And so you'll notice I've got some tabs open here. First step in doing this is to open up the tabs that you want to always open when you open Chrome. So I've got my drive. Now, obviously, I wouldn't really do this slideshow and I would not do um, this web website, but I've got classroom and let's say I want calendar. I'll have that open and then any other tabs that I want. After you have your tabs open, then you're going to go to the three dots in Chrome. Click settings. And then from the menu on the left, click on startup. Now, the default is to open the new tab page, which is basically just like your Google search page. Typically, you're going to choose the third option, which is open a specific page or set of pages. And it's going to show you the pages that you have if you do use current pages. So if you've got the pages that you want open, just say use current pages. And then once that's done, it's done. And now anytime you log into your computer and get into Chrome that you're signed into, your startup pages will open and it's not like you have to bookmark the tabs or anything. They just automatically open for you. One of my favorite things ever. You'll see I've got my things that I use all the time. So that's the first tip. Second tip is pinning tabs. And we're going to start this off by saying that I am a clicker. And I usually have like 85 tabs open all the time. And so when I'm trying to bounce between tabs, I click and I click fast. And I will always, no matter what, click on the X to close a tab accidentally when I'm trying to click through. So pinning tabs helps get rid of that. And y'all, anytime I'm doing a presentation, I try to remember the pin the tab because I'm a clicker. And so like this presentation slide, this slideshow that I'm using, I'm going to right click on the tab up here and choose pin. Notice what happens. It makes it teeny tiny at the front of all my browser tabs and the X is gone. So I can select the tab without accidentally closing it. Lifesaver for presenting for sure. But what I also like about pinning tabs is that anytime I'm working on something that not necessarily has to be a startup page for me, but like anytime I was doing reports or things for administration, you can pin that tab. And when you close Chrome, Chrome excuse me, and reopen it, that pin tab is going to be there until you unpin it. So I was super forgetful. Pinning tabs helped me remember the things that I needed to be working on for a deadline. And then when you're done with it, you just right click and unpin and it goes back to a regular tab. Okay, that's the second tip. Third thing is copying link to highlights. And this is one of my favorite things that I think not a lot of people know about. So let's say I'm teaching the ecosystem to my students and I'm teaching fourth grade and I have this website and there's a bunch of stuff on here, which is awesome. There's a lot of information though. And I don't want my students to have to go to this web page. I can send them this link, but then they'd have to scroll down because I just want them to focus on the food chain and food webs. All you do, y'all, is highlight the text that you want them to focus on, right click on the highlight and say copy link to highlight. Watch what happens. This is one of my favorite things Google has done. I'm going to click on a new tab and I'm just going to paste the link that I just copied and hit enter. It will take your students to that web page and then drop them down to what you highlighted wherever it is on that page and it's highlighted for them so they know the content that you want them to focus on. You don't have to worry about everybody like scrolling and getting to the right thing where you have to walk around and check computers, make sure everybody's looking at what you want them to look at. With copy link to highlight, it takes them exactly to where you need them to be so that you can focus on the content. Obviously, they can scroll up and down still on the web page, but your focus is highlighted so they know this is what Miss Keeley wants me to look at. So just three little quick tips to become one of my Chromies. Hope this was helpful and I will see you on another Wednesday. Have a great day.